hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching this video today thank you guys if this is your first time here please do not forget subscribe and support the movement there is a subscribe button below this video please click that button and support the movement all right thank you so much for understanding so i'm here today i want to talk about uh, something very important to those who intend to study in northern cyprus all right admissions is open for a uh, winter semester yes for those who didn't know admissions is currently going on for those who want to study in out cyprus for winter semester but again before i continue with that please take a look at this So this is one institution in Northern Cyprus, all right? For those who don't know, it is a vocational school and I shall be elaborating more about in subsequent videos. Now, I also want you to understand that if uh, you are a student and or oh, an aspiring international who intend to move to Northern Cyprus to study in 2022-2023 semester, you should be aware that schools in there are things you should consider let me start with schools there are schools in northern cyprus that are far away from the city center all right what i mean is there are some schools that are far into the interiors than the city center so if you ask me i would recommend you go to schools that you want first because if your mind is not on it you cannot study secondly locate schools that are closer to the city center because in case you want to do something around the city it is going to be best but however i used to say that you shouldn't go to schools located around big cities but i mean big cities in big european countries because in as much as you live anywhere around nicosia in ofamagusta or kyrenia in northern cyprus the rent is the same all right the rent doesn't really differ that much so now like i said there are cheaper schools in northern cyprus and there are expensive schools in northern cyprus i'm not going to talk about some of the expensive schools or i'm not going to talk about some of the cheaper schools but these are some of the things you need to understand again understand that most of these schools in northern cyprus they recently came in all right what i mean is they were established in around 90 around the 90s all right some 1997 some 2000 so if you are moving to northern cyprus or if you intend to study in northern cyprus you should consider the university you are going to first again look at your budget and know what you can afford now let me move back into where i wanted to talk more about there is a policy in northern cyprus which says that if you get an admissions letter you are going to pay tuition fee deposit okay before you get the second letter which will permit you to travel to northern cyprus yes a lot of international students don't know this policy applies to almost all european countries poland i know uh, sweden and all other countries all right even turkey now you should know that like i said before locate a cheaper university and locate a school that you know that you have a program there sometimes when you go to agent they will not tell you the truth i have a lot of complaints now from people telling me a lot of things please before you go to an agent make sure you already find out what you are going to do because most agents will not tell you some of these things i'm telling you here all right there are so many people i've explained things to but they didn't listen at the end of the day they came back so i would say that if you want to study in northern cyprus in 2022 start looking for or looking for start looking start looking for schools that are cheap all right it is going to help you a lot secondly i already talked about uh, some of the things you need to know now let me go to the third point if you must study in northern cyprus please take this very seriously make sure you have a sponsor or make sure you have somewhere that you will be generating income for from to pay your tuition fee the reason i'm insisting that you should have a sponsor is because there is no need for you moving into a foreign country where you cannot pay your own tuition fee i hope you understand you will not understand this until you you move into northern cyprus and if you do not have a sponsor that is when your brain will start to work properly all right so make sure you go to northern cyprus if only you have a sponsor i'm not saying because um i have some connections or whatever i am going i studied in northern cyprus i know some of the things i know every angle in northern cyprus please 
make sure you have a sponsor that one is trash out now let me come to the issue of the airport there are a lot of people being deported from airports in northern cyprus because of things we as africans or blacks did to ourselves well if you didn't know some people were trying to move into northern cyprus with illegal stuff and they were caught at the Aegean airport now the policy at the Aegean airport has changed if you come in with certain food items they will be seized and you will not see them again so if you are moving to northern cyprus this coming semester that is the september october intake of 2022 make sure that you know what you are carrying and again make sure that the person doing your admissions or if you are the one doing your admissions you should know some of the things to do because a, a lot of people still don't understand anything all right i was telling somebody that he should go to somewhere and buy things that will be cheaper but he argued and bought them somewhere and later brown came back complaining and when i asked he said it was an agent no like i said use your brain and do more research all right because there are a lot of things hiding now I don't want to overemphasize on this, but I will just go straight to the point. More videos will be coming in the days ahead, all right? So keep watching these ones on the channel. I will bring more videos about uh, the admission procedures and some of the things you need to know. Now, a list of some of these universities in Northern Cyprus include CIU, which is Cyprus International University, EMU, which is uh, Eastern Mediterranean University, NEU, which is Near East University, you have Cyprus Science University, you have the European University of Lefke, all right? Then you also have, there are a lot of them, I do not want to. You have Cyprus Science uh, University, all right? You also have a Future Educational Center, all right, which is a vocational school. And some of these schools are expensive more than others. You also have vocational schools that will charge you maybe 1,500 euros a year for a vocational program like accountancy, business administration, or whatever vocational program, all right? So you should pay attention to all of these details so that you do not fall into um a mess now let's talk about some of the requirements that you need first before i even talk about the requirements let me also quote this here africans as an african i got a subscriber a few days ago she was like which visa or oh, can i go know the embassy where i'm going to get go to to obtain a visa if you are an african watching me know that you do not need a visa to move to northern cyprus all right all you need to do is to show let me say show something that is equivalent to like an okay to board yes some countries do have okay to board you need an okay to board if you are coming from nigeria and some other countries so you need an okay to board your admissions letter your tuition fee payment receipt and that is all you board a plane and you move but now remember um covid was a problem so there were rules that were put in place all right and some of the rules says that you have to board a plane only when you have a negative pcr test all right or a negative COVID-19 test. I do not know how the situation is, but I'm going to find out from the dean in the days to come. Now, again, understand that for you to move into Northern Cyprus, you need to have money for accommodation. I already talked about that. Tuition fee is that. There is a video on this YouTube channel that talked about um, the total amount of money you need to to in order to travel to northern cyprus and i mentioned in that video i do not think the money is up to like uh three thousand dollars all right i mean three thousand euros it should be like two thousand five hundred dollars or three thousand dollars but it shouldn't be more than three thousand euros so that is what you need to understand a lot of things are happening in northern cyprus now first thing first when you move to northern cyprus make sure you stay glued to your business you you are a student you are not a businessman in northern cyprus except that you have a business so focus on yourself and pay attention to things that concerns you stay away from crime from crime now the reason i'm saying this, stay away from crime is because remember you are in a foreign country and where english is not spoken the most uh, widely spoken language in northern cyprus is the turkish language and like uh, maybe some nationalities like the philippines and the pakistanis or indians but the turkish is the highest controlled language in northern cyprus as soon as you do not understand anything about the turkish language you are going to be in serious problem so try as much as possible to study the language all right the turkish language now when it comes to the documents you need to apply for admissions in northern cyprus they are not that heavy you simply just need your yx certificate or your and the scratch card all right the names of your family members like your mother or your father and that is all you are good to go because if you haven't passed through a university you cannot go into master's degree i hope you understand me so the 
information or let me say you must provide all your transcript you must provide all your diplomas you must show other documents like maybe the cv because there are some schools like csu that will ask for your cv some others like uh, maybe emu will ask for a motivation letter but i haven't seen a school that will ask you for a motivation letter all right sometimes going through an agent a whole issue because you will need a lot of materials to stabilize the knowledge you are putting out all right so now we finish with that if you want to apply for masters look for your yx certificate look for your bachelor's degree look for your transcript your bachelor's degree transcript all right bring your cv closer and a motivation letter in case you are asked those applying for uh bachelor's programs all right because this group of persons i just named are for masters those applying for bachelor's programs you need just your scratch card and your yx certificate ordinary levels advanced levels for those who are coming from cameroon baccalaureate examination is also very needed so these are some of the things you need to know all right before you start um looking for opportunities to study in northern cyprus understand again that as inflation is affecting turkey it is also going to affect cyprus and prices of goods and services are increasing every day so before you even do anything you should make sure that you plan your budget very well because even if you carry three thousand dollars and enter into northern cyprus it's going to finish i'm telling you what i know all right it's going to finish sometimes changing from euro to dollar you lose a lot of money and changing from dollar to euro or turkish lira you lose a lot of money so these are some of the things you need to consider all right and also understand that buses are free now when it comes to part-time job you may not get a part-time job as a student a bachelor's degree student but you can get as a master's student if and only if you are willing to work because some people complain that the jobs are difficult and i know they are difficult but someone like me who doesn't have a choice i need to pull through i need to take it i need to manage all right so these are some of the things you need to include in your motivation letter and make sure your admissions is successful there are good places to stay in south in north cyprus not south cyprus and i will talk about um kyrenia in the days to come if you want to study in kyrenia at gau at csu at final make sure you live in kyrenia though some people live from um uh, kyrenia to famagusta every day but it's still the best all right just make sure you locate um somebody or a school that in case you need something you just rush to it is very important now when it comes to um, the medical insurance or let me say the student permit you are only going to do permit after one year all right then after the next year you go and renew the permit that is how the system functions in northern cyprus this video is not that broad i will be coming up with part by part or parts of uh, the study journey to northern cyprus so you understand all right you have to understand that the system is never the same so you need to know what you are doing all right i hope this video helps somebody if it hurts please do not forget 